Trey Pound going up against UPR Nova. Yep, Nova we saw very convincingly take out Fierce 3-0 as he now moves on to Trey Pound. And I'm curious if Trey Pound is going to pick Harley again, or maybe if he, he might go to Supergirl. Yeah, we really don't know. It's, I, it probably will depend on the matchup, but we will end up seeing right now. As it looks like they're already going in. It looks like it will be Harley. Begin. Look at those Highness. Harley against Superman. Now, <laughs> this is uh, a matchup that we did see earlier today. Again. <laughs> Right, yeah, we, this is, uh, Nova is just going to go through all of the Harley Quinns, apparently. This is just a test of Harley Quinn matchup experience. Oh, and that is a bunch of damage on top of that. Of course, oh, wow, interesting Ender. Yeah. That was uh, not really the highest damage you could have gotten, and really not the best knockdown advantage. Sweep is a very, or sorry, Scoop is a very strange Ender to end Scoop. with in this game. Scoop. <laughs> Scoop. Nice, cancels into air guns to get a little bit of damage. All right, here comes the hyenas. And just barely missing the toes of Superman. Yeah, one of the only characters who can really effectively get over the hyenas. Oh, but not nice cupcake. cupcake. Oh, but the kudu! The kudu did the not kudu. work. kudu! I love the way that word just sounds. Kudu. Oh, and Trey Pound taking the life lead back just throughout zoning. Yeah, and he's doing a really good job of holding it. He has cupcakes, using hyenas, gunshots as well. This is where, this is why Harley is so good at playing the zoning game. Now, one thing that we're seeing Trey Pound do, uh, I think better than Fierce did, is control the air with cupcakes. Cupcakes are a right. huge part of zoning And you mentioned that when game. they played as well. Right, and even if they're not in the air, they are very plus. They allow you to set up either a free gunshot or a free hyena summon or a pop gun, which we literally haven't seen from any Harley throughout the entire day. No, it's like we that have move not doesn't seen even pop gun exist. once. But there are a lot I of mean, other options. It is slower, right? But the amount of advantage it has is kind of ridiculous. Right. So the way the pop gun works for those of you there who haven't seen it is she charges up the projectile, and the longer she charges it up, the slower it goes. And once you completely charge it to its maximum, it's actually unblockable yeah. and it's super slow. So it's very hard to avoid. Uh, now you can meter burn it to actually completely eliminate all the recovery at the end of it, but still we're not seeing it too much. And literally at all, I guess. And look, look look at this, just like that, Trey Pound has continued to hold the life lead and now it's Nova in the corner, but Meter Burn roll through, gets caught jumping up. And that's the first time we've seen a normal land in about uh, 40 seconds. Oh, and this should be almost guaranteed chip. Oh, nice, gets away from it, but Still Trey Pound not challenging it. Cupcake going right under Superman and that is it. Trey Pound 1-0. And, th you know, honestly, there was a huge lead going into that from Nova, Nova but yeah. then Trey Pound just completely took it back with zoning. It looked like, I mean, I don't just don't think that Nova should have played so defensively the entire time. He was very comfortable trying to outzone Harley, but it didn't work out for him. He, he ate essentially no combos and took about 150% of his life. Well, it also goes back to kind of the last set he played against Harley where he wasn't being contested in the air as much with cupcakes, with hyenas. Um, and I feel now that Trey Pound is is doing that to him, he's trying to adapt and, and being a little complacent um, is actually not helping him in that manner because I feel like he's trying to adapt by playing slower, but it's actually hurting him and giving Harley the advantage. Right, giving Harley so much more meter, and then of course the meter gives me to bring cupcakes or me to bring back threes. There's so many different options, but I think we need to see Nova really move in and push that advantage. That is really scary for Harley as soon as Superman gets in. But it looks like, you know, he's choosing to instead just go back to the zoning game. <laughs> so it's like a beautiful dance. <laughs> oh, just whiffing projectiles on each other, but it'll work eventually, I guess. And of course, with projectiles still building meters, so there's no real loss if you're not punished for it. True. Blocking the hyena still. So UPR again has the life lead. But look at the meter on Trey Pound's side of things. Four bars. Oh, down two misses the combo. Fortunately, gets a check, and now he's going to get healthy damage here in the corner. And it. I'm interested as to why he ends his combo without 
I feel like he's missing yeah, that exactly, the Play Doctor. Usually you see one, two cancel in the Play Doctor at the end of combos, but I think he might have just missed it. It is a very awkward input, down, back, forward, one. So sometimes you see people drop it. Okay, but no Nova not out of it yet, still making somewhat of a comeback. Nice dashes over. Forces a little bit of chip on Harley. Oh, and he tries to go for the, the sweep, the, what does that call that? I have no idea. Actually, uh, an interesting fact, they changed the name of almost every single normal and actually almost every single move in this game from Injustice 1. So it's going to take a lot of time to relearn what all the moves are called, and that's going to be the life bar. Just like that, Nova making a comeback. Now, I think Nova just needs to push this corner advantage and, oh! Didn't get anything off of it, but he's going to keep the positioning. I like the push block out of... Trypound, but he's getting caught now. Damage. Interesting, going for the Meatless combo, but he's killing a lit Trypound out of the corner, and this should be the kill unless he breaks. Get Last up. minute Get clash. Yeah, taking him down is oh, just about chip but life. the Hyena still, as long as the Biscuit is out, Hardly it's hungry. risk is worth it. It's hungry. You know, that's not just a hyena, it's an overhead hyena. The fact that you, that I actually just gave you something for that <laughs> makes me upset. <laughs> when will she learn the low hyena? All right, so that, uh, again, looking very, very solid. I think that we just need to see some better corner pressure. Well, you know what, never mind. I think we need to see the King of Atlantis. Oh, that looks painful. Look at him, look at his face. He's like, oh, that hurt. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Relax. Relax. I can't relax. We are seeing Harley. I think Harley is one of the most fun characters to watch. She's very cool to watch. Begin. Absolutely. But you know what? I did say something earlier. I did say, you know what? This might be the, the first week where we don't get a Black Adam or an Aquaman. And, and you lied. I have been proven wrong on both counts, as now we have the first Aquaman of the night. So I'm noticing a theme here from Atlanta as well. They all tend to like the color red. I mean, you, you know, you're totally right. We've seen so many red costumes today. I was thinking about that earlier. I think it's you're just right. Trey that actually rocks the white. I don't, don't think he used any red so far today. Well, Merc played the red beetle. We talked about that. Yep. Uh, and then we had Burritos play the red arrow. Red arrow, yeah. And then we see, of course, red right now from Nova. Uh, Fierce, I believe, was playing the demon skin. So that was red, too. And yep. then Pig, of course, plays Trocidus, which is just red. Uh -huh. But then don't forget that... Um, Oh, the red swamp thing from nachos. from skate. Or, yeah. Nachos. No, skate. okay. He, so he did sign up at skate, skate nachos. nachos. Yeah. All right. Regardless, we are in here, and Trey Pound needs just one more little hit to take it to the last life and bar. That will oh. be the trade. <laughs> that looks so funny. Did you see uh, Harley quit on the way? Yeah. Out? I'm like, like what? what? All right, now it's just one hit, two, pretty Nova, much even it up. Yeah, Nova is slowly taking this back, though, and trying to rush being push blocked so that as to keep the first life bar and do as much damage as possible. But Trey Pound taking it out. Or, excuse me, Trey Pound being taken out at the end. Wow, manages to get over the hyena. We've seen that Nova's very comfortable trying to challenge the hyena from the air, which is not something you normally see. Oh, that's pretty big. Could have used the background bounce for some yeah. free damage, but still not seeing too many players comfortable using that. Good conversion here. Clash still available for both players. Two oh! Bars. For Nova, though, clashing would actually hurt him here as Trapeon has built so oh! much And that's react! do it! React to the back two with the super. Easily my favorite super in the entire game. Give him the bat. And that is going to be Trey Pounds taking it three. What an absolutely oh. hype way to end the set. And he takes it with the 3 0. We've seen a few 3 0s tonight, actually. We have. Actually, most of the bracket has been 3 0s or 3 1s. There hasn't been anything. There's no, no 3 2s. That's really night. been a terribly close game, yeah. Not yet. But of course, we're moving on to the end of the bracket. So I feel like the matches will end up being closer and closer. But. Trey Pound showing how comfortable he is in this matchup. That was the big difference, I think, between Trey Pound and Fierce. It wasn't necessarily that one was a better or worse player. They just had a different level of comfortability again. Also, I feel like the, the approach was different, and I think Trey Pound was obviously correct.
Right. I mean, <laughs> hey, it worked. We're seeing Trey Pound move down through the loser's bracket, and that will put him against his fellow Atlantean.